In this video I will talk about the clipping detail and RGB min-max. The clipping detail is perfect for spotting parts of your image that are too bright, too dark or overly saturated. The white threshold slider adjusts the luminance value at which white clipping is detected in your image. It sets the upper luminance limit so any pixel brighter than this threshold is considered overexposed or clipped. By lowering the threshold, you make the tool more sensitive, causing more pixels to be flagged as overexposed. You can use these checkboxes to turn each one on and off. The Darken Background Slider is a blending option that darkens the background areas of your image so that the highlighted areas stand out more. The Saturation 100% plus 75% checkbox Turn areas which high saturation above 75% as cyan, and areas that are near 100% will be turned yellow. Here we have the option to split the image. Split vertically divides the image along the vertical axis. The left side shows the original image, and the right side shows the processed version. This tool is also great for analyzing movie stills. You might think there are some saturation clippings in movies like Asteroid City, but in fact the saturation level is often below 75%. And here are some stills from La La Land. Another tool I've been working on is the RGB min-max DZTL. This tool is designed to help you visualize and analyze RGB and luma values in your footage. Just a heads up, this tool can be demanding, so I recommend using it in a 1080p timeline instead of 4K for smoother performance. With RGB Parade checked, you can see the distribution of the red, green and blue channels in the image which helps to analyze the balance between these channels. Unlike a standard parade, my tool fills the entire area between the minimum and maximum values of each channel with pure red, green or blue. This feature is useful because the filled area makes it easy to spot the extremes of your RGB values against the black background, giving you a clear visual of where clipping or imbalance might occur. If you enable RGB Parade Clipping, you'll see an overexposed or underexposed areas highlighted in white. By using RGB Parade Clipping, you can specifically highlight the clipping areas in your footage. This feature is very useful when working with DaVinci Slidebox option, allowing you to quickly skim through multiple clips and easily spot if any of them have highlights or shadows that are clipping. The RGB waveform displays the RGB values vertically, stacked on top of each other, instead of separating the channels. It's useful when you want to focus on how RGB channels behave together. RGB Max and RGB Min checkboxes show the highest and lowest values for each RGB channel in the image. It's useful for checking the range and distribution of colors across the image. You can also enable Luma Max and Luma Min to see the maximum and minimum luminance values. 
This helps you monitor brightness and contrast and ensures your highlights and shadows are within the correct range. The Luma Area checkbox fills in areas of the image where Luma values exist. This gives you a clear visual representation of brightness distribution so you can quickly spot any inconsistencies in the luminance. The tray thickness slider adjusts the thickness of the RGB and Luma lines. A higher value gives you a thicker trace, making it easier to see. By default, it is set to a thin line to maintain clarity. Next, we have RGB opacity and Luma opacity. These sliders adjust the transparency of the RGB parade and the Luma areas. If you want to dim these visuals slightly, and blend them more with the background, you can lower these values. The Guidelines Opacity slider lets you control the visibility of the horizontal grid lines in the display. The Darken BG slider is useful when you need to focus on the RGB or Luma values without distractions. It darkens the background, making the trace lines stand out more clearly. The higher the value, the darker the background becomes. That's it, you can find a free demo version on my website. Have a nice day and see you next time.